Hi, welcome to Making All the Plans. I'm Connie, and if we haven't met before, I'm a busy mom of two active kids, and both my husband and I have full-time careers. My goal is to share with you how I stay on top of all life throws at me in one planner so that you might be able to do the same. This week, I am using some washi stickers. These are called Street View, and they're all yellow, and they are from Timu. I bought from them once, and I probably won't buy from them again, but I do want to use what I bought. I thought that these yellow street sign stickers would go well with the stage of life that we're in. My son just got his temps and is learning how to drive. So I thought that this would just be a good reminder of the stage of life that we're in. I am going to start by laying down these days of the week sticker that I went ahead and made and cut out on my Cricut. I just feel like this gives a whole new feeling to the spread. So I like doing this. I would do it every week, but sometimes I don't have time to print out the stickers or whatever stickers I'm using don't necessarily have days of the week that go along with them. So I do try to do this as often as possible now, just because I do like how it changes the whole feel of the spread. Luckily, I have found my T-square ruler and I'm going to use it to line up my days of the week. One was the Monday was way off and for some reason I just couldn't get it lined up by eye. So I love my T-square. It's very cheap. Most of the time you can get them for under $5. If you do get a T-square ruler, I would suggest not getting a clear one because whenever I lose my T-square ruler, it's usually just sitting somewhere else on my desk and I just can't see it because it's clear. I will mention early on that I might be getting a cold or it might just be from traveling. Um, I did go to Florida, then I came back and I hung out in the woods at Hawking Hills, Ohio. So I am congested. I've also been sitting out at a lot of cold soccer games recently. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. It could just be going from Florida back to Ohio or sitting out in the cold or being out in nature. I'm not really sure, but something's going on. So I apologize for my voice and the raspiness. The nice thing about knowing how you like to plan is you can make sure you print out appropriate size boxes for the things that you use all the time in your planner. So even though I was pretty sure I would only use one of those bigger boxes, I did print them in both colors so that I have options. And then I thought it was funny that I was eating candy corn because they reminded me of like traffic cones. So I just threw those in the shot because I, I had to giggle. So I thought I'd share that with you. And now I'm going to just flip through this little washi tape sticker book and pull out those things that remind me of driving or cars or traffic, things like that. There are a lot of stickers in here, but just because it's called Street View, it does not mean that they're necessarily stickers that I wanted to use on my planner this week. So I'm just going to flip through real quick and find those things that I might want to use. And just because I'm pulling them, I'm not really sure if I'm going to use all of them or not, but I did want to make sure that I had a good variety so that I would think that this would be the maximum number that I would use, but if I don't use them all, it's okay. I'll just stick them back into the sticker book and possibly use them on another spread. And I'm not sure about you, but I do have a love hate with stickers that have backings on them like this. I love that I can just lay them out and I'm not worried about what they're sticking to. I don't love getting the sticker backing off of them when I go to put them down, but this is really fun that I can just lay it out. I did put pencil marks for where I want to put lines for my tasks for this week before I got too carried away. Just because I don't want to put too many stickers down, I do need to make sure that I have room for my tasks. Like I said, I am coming back from vacations. I have been gone for, let's see, a week and a half, almost two weeks actually. And in between that, I was here for one day. I was here on Halloween night and we had people over and then we left again and I was at soccer games and things like that. So really I have a lot of catching up to do around our house. So I want to make sure that I leave plenty of space for my tasks. I also do have a new employee starting on Monday and then training Tuesday through Friday for work. So like I said, it's going to be a little crazy and I just need to be able to stay on top of things. And now to get the backing off these stickers, I am going to grab my pokey tool out of my cute little jars that my kids made me in kindergarten. I love keeping my tools here and seeing those every day. 
but I did grab this pokey tool that is used for weeding out Cricut vinyl and I use it just to stick through the corner or tear the corner so that there's something for me to grab a hold of. Sometimes you can actually pull the backing off with the pokey tool, but I found this one is a little harder and I was really just ripping the corner of the backing and then it gave me something to grab onto with my fingers. I guess you could also use tweezers, but that is another thing that I have misplaced or one of my children has borrowed. Now, because these stickers are washi stickers and they are very transparent, I did white out the line in between the two boxes where I am planning on putting these stickers. I really don't want that line showing through. And this is just a Sakura jelly roll. I think it's a size one. It's not my favorite method of whiting things out, but I don't like my whiteout roller for this purpose because you can really see that through the stickers. This is a more gentle whiteout. I just tend to have a problem with jelly roll pins and getting the ink out consistently. I also used some solid black washi tape so that these images wouldn't just be floating on my page. I definitely like to ground my images. So I did pull out just some thin black washi tape. I thought about using that black striped washi tape that you might've seen earlier. And it is my favorite washi tape, but I felt like it was too country for this. So I did just go with solid black and then I put two black lines down, almost like there are two lanes of traffic. And I used my Live Love Posh washi tape cutter to rip that at the edges. So a little more about these washi tape books. I do think that if you like the thought of having these little stickers just ready to go, that is great. I am always a fan of buying things that you will use and not buying things that you won't use. So I did buy these books on a whim. I'm not sure how frequently I will use them. I will say, I think I got 12 of the books for 12 ish dollars. So you can get a lot of use out of them and not spend a ton of money. However, you actually have to use them in order to get your value out of them, right? So I'm not sure I would buy them again necessarily unless there were books that were specific to things that I was looking for because them getting bought at a good price and then sitting in my drawer and not getting used don't make them a great value. I think this might be the second time that I have used these books. So if you look at it that way, it'd be $6 for the stickers on this spread. And I don't think that is worth it. But if I continue to use those and that price per use goes down, then it's definitely worth it. And I got my money's worth out of them. So you will probably see them again. I just try not to use them back to back. I like to spread them out as with all my stickers. I like to spread them out. So we'll just see when they pop up again or when I'm inspired to grab these books. So now I'm going to add all my functionality in now that I've gotten the stickers down. And normally I do this the other way around, but I think that I've saved enough space for my functionality that we will be good. Tuesday, my kids are off school and I need to go vote. Friday, I am off work for Veterans Day. Even though Veterans Day is on the 11th, we get off the 10th. And on the 9th, my daughter has a doctor's appointment. So I am going to drop stickers in for these things. I also have a sticker on the 11th so that I can write Veterans Day on the 11th. And then I am just going to put some more boxes in areas that I think need filled. <laughs> for example, on Friday, I thought I'd drop a couple boxes. I am off, so I may have some extra things that I want to do that day. And then I am also going to put some boxes over on the sidebar just to fill in that area down there. Sometimes I draw lines, sometimes I put a box, but normally that's where I put the errands that I need to run for the week and that aren't assigned to a specific day. Normally I get through my planning for the week and then I decide what day is going to be errand day. And then I know already what those errands are that I need to run. And originally I was going to put that exclamation that point there, but I did not like having to cut off the edge. I thought it looked weird. So I decided not to put it there. So I moved it back up towards Thursday 
and I just pieced it back together. I had made a pretty clean cut there, so I was able to just piece that sticker back together and it looks fine. It looks like it is one sticker again, but I did still want to put something over there in the sidebar, so I did decide that I would use this dead end sticker and at first I thought I would just lay it over because it would be transparent enough, but then I decided that I would cut out the dead end sticker, like the sign itself from the sticker and use it that way. I had already cut that bus or van sticker up on Friday some, so I wasn't hesitant about cutting the sticker, but I just thought that it might have been transparent enough to overlay on those boxes, it just wasn't. Plus then those boxes would have been difficult to write on with the sticker covering the whole thing. I did use my whiteout tape to white out part of the red box because it really did show through this transparent sticker. So I did put white out on way too much area. So then I just scratched it off with my fingernail. So it was okay. I did originally think I would leave the sign post, but then I did go back and cut it off. Then the last thing that I need to do is get my lines down. So I'm going to grab my Christian Design stencils and decide which of the stencils I was going to use. I believe this is the six millimeter. I do have seven, six, five millimeter, and then also a quarter of an inch. I am erasing my pencil lines real quick so that I don't try to erase them before my pen lines dry. I am using a Muji 0.38 to draw my pen lines. And as long as you let them dry, they won't smear when you write on them and erase over them. So I definitely like that about the Muji but it makes it easier if you erase your pencil lines before you put your actual lines down. The other thing that I am going to do is put lines on the area that I put my meal plans. I just like to be able to write in straight lines. It bothers me if my writing does not go straight across, so it's easier if I just drop some lines in. Also, I definitely have to plan out these meals since a lot of my training will be through the dinner hour. So it will just be helpful if I am super organized this week. This is my special week.